So, okay. I, I decided I'm not going to watch the new Star Wars movie until it's been reviewed and I've watched at least one of the reviews from somebody I trust. A buddy of mine at work said, I think you'll like it. There's a lot of stuff. And I'm like, okay. And he was kind of telling me some of the stuff and I'm like, eh, maybe. And then I, I waited for a review. I watched a review. <clears throat> it was not a favorable review. Uh, and then I watched another review that was also not a favorable review. And I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to watch this thing. It's going to be difficult for me to give you a really accurate review. I think my brain is still trying to process what the fuck happened in the first 15 minutes. I don't know. Um, fun fact. At least this is what I was told. Let me see uh, Suicide Squad. Did you know that the company that edited Suicide Squad, what they mostly do is trailer editing. Like film trailers. They make film trailers. That's what they edit more than anything else. And it really shows in the movie Suicide Squad because everything is like... There's no scene that's longer than a minute in that whole movie. Like, there's no scene that's longer than a minute in that whole movie. There just isn't. <laughs> Everything fucking moves that fast. And, dude, holy shit, it was like that. I was getting really weird Suicide Squad flashbacks. I'm like, it moves so fast. There's no, there's no pause through the entire entire two hours and 20 minutes there's no pause there's no they leave you no time to digest anything that happens throughout the course of it it's like don't think about this next scene all right, all right no no you're trying to think about that first scene we're on three scenes by now come on, come on come on keep up keep up keep up it moves so fast the pacing like i thought far from home was really fast paced movie and i kind of attributed it to we all pretty much fucking know who Spider-Man is at this point, right? So it was nice to dispense with all of the reliving of the origin of Spider-Man. Like, we didn't have to go through that. And I thought that was awesome. And then, like, the storyline had a lot of ground to cover in the amount of time that they used. So, you know, it was fast-paced. And there were... But, you know, it had points where there was the dialogue. Like, characters spoke more than three lines to each other you know what I mean in this movie like almost everything is single line dialogue like I say something to you you say something back to me next scene you know it's like they're really there's like three or four scenes where there's like actual like dialogue going on it, it it's tough to keep up with like, you just gotta kind of try and not think about anything, because you miss stuff. Like, it... <sighs> I mean, it was... Like, my head kind of hurts a little bit now. My eyes are very tired from just trying to focus on it for two and a half hours straight. Like, that's why you kind of need lulls in movies like that. You, you can't. Like, if you think about um, Lord of the Rings movies, there were huge spans of that movie where it was, like, panning scenery and, you know, you see people running and, oh, look at the orcs, you know, falling on them. And, like, they had these big, huge, wide shots that panned, and it gave you kind of time to, you know, have a moment to fucking... But it's, it was stressful. Like, watching this movie was stressful. It was so... <laughs> it just didn't stop. There was no point. Two and a half hours straight. And it was just... <sighs> it was a fucking... It was a it was top thrill dragster. It wasn't a fucking roller coaster. It was... <laughs> and... Uh, and, like, even for as fast as it was... Oh, my God. I felt every second of that two hours and 20 minutes. It was... 
it was so long. Like, for as fast as it was, it was so long. I, it shouldn't have felt that long. Like, Braveheart, whenever I watch it, even still today, it's like a four hour long movie. It feels like I'm watching an hour and a half movie. I, 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 I wish it would keep going. It's such a good movie, I get immersed in it like that, and I'm, I'm fucking there. And it's just, it goes too fast for me. This was a two hour and 20 minute movie. And I'm like, ugh. like halfway through it, I'm like, like I ordered pizza. And I started watching it. And like my pizza dude came and I paused it and I'm like, oh my God, I'm only that far into the movie? Like it was very, it, it, ugh. like it didn't drag. It was just a lot. Like it was just a lot. Just pump into your face. It was almost as if J.J. Abrams said, look, the second movie was shit. It was all shit. So we have to kind of incorporate it, but redo it really fucking fast. Like, we gotta redo it all really fucking fast. Like, we can't fuck around you know, the first hour is going to have to essentially be us redoing the, the last movie because it was shit. And then the la that last hour is going to have to be the fucking the next movie. And it was like that's what they did. They filmed two movies and said anywhere where there's a pause in anything, cut it the fuck out. And they just smush them together. And went, uh. This <laughs> isn't like I... I feel bad for JJ. Like Ryan Johnson can suck a dick. I, I I don't like that guy. He's an asshole. He said I wanted to go out and make a shitty movie, and I made a shitty movie. That makes me happy. That fucking piece of shit. I don't like that guy. JJ Abrams. I just feel bad for him. Like the, he's like man. Ah. I don't, I don't even I don't even know what to do and he just yeah I think he did his best I think he did his best like c3po was great that's fucking sad when there's a Star Wars movie and the best thing I have to say is c3po was great. C-3PO is not supposed to be the best part of the fucking movie. C-3PO is great. All of his lines, all of his scenes, so funny. The best scenes of the movie. If you want to, like, I'm sure on YouTube at some point there will be somebody who will cut down that movie to just C-3PO. Watch it. Best parts of the movie. Fucking, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. They were seriously the best parts of the movie. And the little fucking, the little droid mechanic. Best part of the movie. The, the dude was just great. Dude, like, he was just, he was funny as fuck. I, I you know, I, I don't want to say anything that happened in any of those parts because I think it, w it would be ruining the only good parts of the fucking movie. And I don't, I don't want to do that if you wind up watching it. The fucking scenes with C-3PO and the and the little droid mechanic. Goddamn best scenes of that movie. Everything else, not good. Just not good. Like, it was so rushed and so fast and just, it, it was so pandery. And it was just so, like, do you, do you like Star Wars? Oh, it's in it. Oh, yeah. Do, do you like old Star Wars? Oh. Oh, it's chock full of old Star Wars. You, you like the new Star Wars? Not not the new new Star Wars. The the new the old old like the first Star Wars. Oh, it's it's in it. There's stuff from that in it. Yeah. Do you like the new stuff? The new new stuff. Oh, it, it's in it. It's chock full of it. Do you like uh, 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 End Endgame? Did you like Marvel's Avengers Endgame? Oh, did you like the end scene with all the the, the fight? Oh, it's in it. Like, dude, he just took everything that he was like no like it's been longer than two minutes and we haven't had a reference or a character or something from the old nostalgia we need to rip every single bit of the old nostalgia out that we 
I'm a fucking amazed that Mon Mothma didn't appear in this fucking movie. Like... Every, everything. <laughs> just throw it into the fucking blender. Throw it all in there. Just throw it in there. I don't care what it looks like at the end. No, they're, they'll drink it. And the thing that bothers me the most now, like, it just bug, bugs the shit out of me. Like, okay, what can you now do with the Force? Everything. Do everything. What do you What do you need to do? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> like, just what? You can like teleport fucking objects between. Everything. You just everything. You need everything. Whatever you need to do. What do you need to do with the force? Yeah, you can do that. Like they. The Force just became like the ex machina of all ex machinas. Oh, you need. You're in a problem? You need something resolved? You can do it with Force. What, 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 what do you need? Yeah, do that with the Force. Just do it. Whatever you need to do. <laughs> oh, oh, you need somebody to do something for the Force and they're fucking dead? Does it matter? Do it with the force, dude. <sighs> like it was, it was, it, it was frustrating to watch. It, like I said, man. J.J. Abrams had a whole lot of shit to work with. And... Like, what, one of the, uh... One of the reviews, one of the reviewers that I watched, he said, uh, do you think that J.J. Abrams took straw and was able to weave bronze with it? And I was like... Pfft. That's what really made me want to watch it, because I just, I wanted to know, I wanted, I wanted to have something to fit that reference to. Taking straw and weaving bronze. Because it's just, like, the, the whole fucking thought of it made me laugh, and that's why I wanted to watch it. And I watched it, and I get it. He took straw and, and weaved bronze. He had all manner of shit to work with, and he said, I have to do something with all of this. <laughs> Eight movies were the shit, and I gotta do something with all of this. Fucking, we had the original core movies, and Lucas said, "Yeah, I don't like anything I did in those," and redid them all. Retconned fucking a whole lot of shit, and then another person came along and said, "Yeah, I don't like any any of that other stuff," and retconned even more shit. And then fucking the next asshole, Ryan fucking Johnson, comes in and goes, I'm just going to piss on it all. And and then they threw in the fucking Mary Sue he's got to deal with. And he just went, threw his fucking hands up with hers. Like, she's fucking beyond hope. We just ride it out, man. Just dude. Let's just make it so ridiculous that everybody just knows, yeah, we know. We don't know why, but we know. Like, that... There was a whole lot of lines of dial... Well, lines in the movie that I was like... <clears throat> like... Ray's... Without doubt, hands down, the most powerful Jedi that's ever been in the fucking movies. Anything. She is the, the, the fucking bee's knees. She's t top tier... And she's on this planet with Master Leia, and Leia's training her. Now Ray's being trained, and Poe shows up, and he's all pissed off because Ray wasn't there to help him with this very dangerous thing that they did. And he goes up to her, and he says, "What the fuck are you doing here? Training." 
you're, you're the best fighter we have. You're the best pilot we have. You're the best at everything. You're the best at all the shit. Everything that we need done, you do it better than anybody else. And you're fucking here training. And I'm like... Dude, you know, like, there was there was a couple of lines like that. And I'm like... I want to spoil one thing now. I want to tell you who dies in the movie. I'm going to tell you who dies in the movie. Everybody but Lando. Every single character in a fucking movie that you know and love dies except Lando. But just because they're dead does not mean that they stay dead. Like I said, everybody, everything, every everything in it. He looked at it, fucking eight movies and said, I gotta use all of this. <laughs> you miss Han Solo? Do you? Do you miss Han Solo? He's back. I mean, he's not back alive, but he's back. You, know, you get to fucking see Harrison Ford again. Yay! Well, you, 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 everybody. Everybody dies, everybody comes back. C3PO fucking dies, even has a fucking death scene. Where he says, like, you know, he's standing there looking at the the group of the whole group of new people, and he's looking at them all, and and Poe goes, "What are you doing?" And he goes, "I'm just taking one last look at my friends." And like it pans across all of them, and I'm like, nobody from the original, not one fucking like Chewbacca's still alive, not even fucking with them. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sitting there going. Well, 3PO, you're my friend. But I, fucking all these strangers, I, I don't know who the fuck any of these people are. I like Poe. He's all right. Fucking Ray. He's there. And and Finn, you know, he's a dude. He's funny sometimes. Uh, other than that, and I'm like, this is fucking... So even his death scene's like laughable, and then he comes back, and R2 just fucking brings him right back, and I'm like... <laughs> fucking Ray dies, comes back. Dude, they all die. Kylo Ren dies, comes back. Chewbacca dies, comes back. Everybody dies, comes back. All, all of them, everybody dies, comes back. So, eh. I mean, it. It was so much. And J.J. Abrams wanted everything. He wanted everything. Eight movies. And I gotta use all of it. And everybody has to have a really kick ass death moment, but, but everybody has to survive by the end. <laughs> and whatever I need to do. To make all of the... I'm going to use the Force. The Force, with this movie... J.J. Abrams must have seen the oldest meme that I can possibly think of. It's the oldest meme I can think of. And I saw it <laughs> at a medieval camping event on somebody's tent wall. Or their, their you know, camp wall, right? They had taken one of their pieces of canvas... And somebody had painted on it, duct tape is like the force. It's light on one side, dark on the other, and it binds the universe together. And J.J. Abrams said, I've got eight movies, and I, I have to use it all. So I'm going to have these giant fucking holes where I'm going to have to make things happen that... And he just went, D duck it, and just the force. <laughs> uh, if nothing else it was probably the funniest of all the movies I will say that I, it wasn't meant to be it wasn't like there was great comedic parts in it like I said C-3PO and the little droid mechanic the best everybody else 
as per usual with the new cast, all of their jokes fall immediately flat. Just they, they just suck. I don't know if it's they suck as delivering them. If the lines are so awful, the actors are going, I can't even deliver this in a fucking... Like, how do I even fucking deliver this line? Like, I, I feel bad for all the actors. I feel bad for J.J. Abrams. I feel bad for everybody involved in that movie. It just made me sad for them. Like, at this point, like, I'm just... I'm just like, man... Shit, I don't even know. Like, it's just... It's fucking awful. It's just awful. So, if you want some chuckles, like I said, there were some points where things happened and I just fucking out loud laughed. Because I'm like, <laughs> of course, of course, Ray dies. And it's this huge moment. She's laying there dead. She's staring glassily. So, you know, she's fucking dead. You know she's fucking dead. But you know, you've seen at least seven fucking characters die and come back to that point. You know that bitch ain't dead. And then, there, you know, there's a wide shot. He's like, moving fast. Wide shot, you know, and you see fucking Kylo Ren's hand come up. And I went, <laughs> dude. <laughs> and I'm like, he's gonna bring her back. You wanna know how he's gonna bring her back? With the force. Duck it. Ugh. It was good. It was a laugh. There was a lot of good laughs in this movie. If you're a fan, there, there's a whole lot of fan stuff. You, it'll rub your nostalgia bone until you come all over yourself. Whatever. I don't know. And if you just want to watch it just for a giggle, just to be like, wow. Like, if you just want to understand spinning straw into bronze. Watch the new Star Wars movie. Hey, fucking whatever.